Greetings, I'm Dave Gilmore, and this is Design Intelligence. Leadership, ways, and means range across a broad range of expressions. Effective leadership leverages awareness and discernment to express the most effective manner for each situation. Said another way, there's no one way of leadership. Given that the theme of leadership is primarily applied to the context of humans leading humans, the seemingly endless permutations of human dynamics makes for a varied and oft confusing field of application for the would-be leader seeking optimal effectiveness. I came across a team of people this past year that might illustrate the dynamics I'm talking about. In this particular group of seven people, the following scenarios and situations presented themselves in the three or four days I was with them. Executive A from the East Coast of the U.S. showed undisguised disdain for Executive B, who was from a southern state. Seemed everything the southerner, Executive B, said was met with rolled eyes, sighs, and under-the-breath mumbling from Executive A. Executive C seemed consistently out of touch with the themes, topics, and dialogue occurring in the days we all met together. Executive D was the positive person in the room, always showed up with a smile, a warm handshake, or a pat on the back, and complimented just about everyone in the room each day for their contributions. Funny thing about it, though, Executive D rarely added anything to the body of knowledge being shared in the room and volunteered to be the overall note-taker for the sessions. Executive E and F seemed velcroed together for the entire multi-day meeting. They sat together, ate together, and walked together whenever the team would go outside the meeting space to a restaurant or other venue. They each had iPads and took their own notes, and to the observant, it was clear they were texting back and forth through the days of the gathering. Executive G was the CEO and stayed with the agenda for the entire week. No deviations whatsoever. Even when the dialogue begged changing direction or staying with the topic longer than the allotted time, this executive prided themselves in punctuality and discipline. Each of these leaders seemed unaware of the truth and reality that leadership expressions are varied and require the better of each. The CEO seemed resigned that the team's apparent dysfunctions were to be accepted and they were to play the cards they were dealt. Effective leaders stride into any given situation with their awareness antenna tuned in to read the room, observe the manner of each, and will adjust to best communicate with and positive impact each for the common good. Effective leaders are fixed on the core principles of trust, purpose, clarity, and relationship, and from these they apply awareness and discernment to both initiate and respond. I've heard too many would-be leaders state in one way or another, well, this is just the way I am as an excuse for not adapting to dynamics to best communicate and make the impact all are hoping for. If that's you, reconsider if leadership is for you. If instead you're willing to release such a stance and take on the role of an authentic leader who leads for others, not yourself, well, you're on your way to becoming the effective leader we so often talk about. What kind of leader are you? Until next time, I'm Dave Gilmore, and this is Design Intelligence.